going there? Is he no? There he goes. There he goes. Fish on. <laughs> they hit it so hard and the rod popped back up. I'm not sure if he had got it or not. He's on there. Fish on. This is going to be fish number one. We've been on the water now about 30 minutes or so, I guess. 20, 30 minutes. I had lines in the water at 8.15 tonight. Fishing the night shift tonight. I wanted to get out here and get set up before that sun went down. I'll try to take advantage of that dusk bite there, that twilight bite. If there is one anyway. <laughs> this little fella here get things started. There we go, little blue cat. Getting a skunk out tonight. I've got a combination of baits tonight. I went out last night after dark. I got some gizzard shad, just a few. Uh, made a few throws, quick throws out there with the net, got some of those. And I stopped on the way out here and I got some live bluegill. So on this front rod over here, I've got a live bluegill. And then on these two rods here, I'm gonna have cut gizzard shad until the until I run out of gizzard chat, assuming I do tonight, hopefully I do. But uh, that's the plan for now, to have two rods with cut bait, because that's what I've been getting the bulk of my fish on lately, is the cut bait, and have one rod here with the uh, live bluegill on it. But where I'm sitting at here, you can see I'm in this creek mouth, I'm in 29 feet of water. The water temp's heated up to 70 degrees, so, uh, you know, these fish here real soon, they're gonna be going on the beds. If they're not already on the beds, they're going to be going soon, so uh, I'm just trying to make the most of my time while I got it. And I don't know, we'll see what happens. Get these baits back down there, maybe we'll catch another one. Oh, oh we got one on. I felt my kayak just, just kind of tipping. <laughs> this one ate a gizzard shad body section. It has been. A long time since that first fish. Well, it's gonna pull him out. Look at him go. Look at him go. Still don't think he's too terribly big, but he's fighting hard. I wonder if this might be a flathead. Let's see what time it is. It's 10:05, so <laughs> it's been. Long time since I had a bite. And I've just rode it out here. Just waiting on some fish to come in. Got one here. Yeah, that is a little flathead. Alright, looky there. Well, he's ornery still. <laughs> a little flathead. He's a uh, He's welcomed, I tell you that. <laughs> it has been, like I said, a long time since I had a bite, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. It's just one of them nights. They either aren't active or I'm in the wrong place, either way. <laughs> that's all right. Let's let him go. See you, Mr. Flathead. But again, though, that one ate the cut bait, a piece of cut gizzard shad. Still got that live bluegill over there kicking up. Felt him moving periodically. But uh, no action on him yet. There it goes. Fish on. That's pulling too now. Look at him. That one ain't a gizzard shad head. See y'all. I'm still anchored here. He's digging, buddy. He's digging. anchored here at this creek mouth. I've got my baits directly under the kayak. I've got them suspended two to three feet off the bottom. So they're just kind of there. The current flow is very light out here tonight. TVA is not generating much at all. They were earlier today. They were running about 40,000 CFS on Fort Loudon earlier, but it's about 15,000 right now. So it's I'm fishing far enough down river that it's barely noticeable. You can't see because it's dark out here, but I'm actually 
my front of my kayak's facing upstream right now because there's a little bit of a breeze blowing. Yep, it is another flathead. This is my second flathead on the night. And this is actually flathead number 50 on the year. I have had a great year for flatheads. I've spent a little bit more time targeting them sure. Not really not really targeting them specifically, but fishing places that was going to allow me the opportunity to put my baits in front of them. And uh, it's paid off. It's paid off big time this year. I had caught more by April of this year than I had caught total for the last several years um, for any year combined for the entire year. And this keeps going. But again, that's another one here that ate the cut bait. There's my bait right there, a gizzard shad head. He's got something else in his mouth. Look at that. That's something else he's eating. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. It's about half digested. May have been a shad or something. All right, buddy, here we go. <laughs> another flathead. He thought he had him another meal and that bait had a hook in it and then he lost the meal he is half digested. <laughs> That's all right, buddy, it's early in the night. You've got plenty of time to feed up. All right, well, let's let him go. Drop that bait down and do it again. Yeah, there goes one. There goes one. Let's pick up on him. He's digging, buddy. He's digging. Buddy. Again, it has been another long stretch. Oh, no, he's got that other line. <laughs> he's got that front rods line. It's all right, though. It's been a long stretch of nothing again, y'all. Long stretch. Let's see what time it is now. 11.22. So, was it over an hour, I guess, since the last fish? Just been a, one of them nights. Yeah, it was tugging, buddy. I think it's another flathead. I'm inclined to believe that I'm just in the wrong spot tonight. <laughs> In fact, I ain't even getting no dinks or anything. You know, I was a little concerned. We're kind of getting in that time frame. Like I said, we're, if they're not on the beds, it's about that time. But uh, I expected to at least get some dinks, you know. Me having fresh shad. That's one thing about shad. It's, usually you can count on it to get you some at least some small fish. This hasn't been the case tonight. Slow night. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll take it though. Every time you come out here and catch these flatheads, I don't care what size they are, I like them all. But even though it's been a slow night, I've certainly had a lot more nights. So it's been far worse than this. <laughs> People ask me all the time if I ever get skunked, and the answer is yes, I do, just like anybody else. Yep, another flathead. Bring that one up in here and take a look at him. <laughs> Just another, you know, small juvenile flathead here, but I don't mind. They're a fun fight. These are hard pulling fish, man. That one ate a piece of gizzard chad, the body section on there. Let's let him go. See you, pal. We'll get big. <laughs> He's out of here. <laughs> 